To help spread awareness of XRP in Japan, the leading financial institution SBI has launched creative trading initiatives and cashback marketing. Meanwhile, by 2027, it is expected that $250 trillions would have been transferred internationally via the ripple effect. Judge Torres's decision will also be overturned if appealed. Finally, in the following week, a miracle is going to occur. If you want to know more, you'll have to read on until the end. Watch this brand new video right now if this is something that interests you. Welcome to our channel, where we discuss XRP and other cryptocurrency news as it happens. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to everybody who is checking out one of our videos for the first time. The crypto world and all the powerful pro XRP figures have been caught off guard by SBI, a recognized banking powerhouse in Japan, taking a novel approach to XRP trading. When billionaire Ari learned about the exciting new advancements begun by SBI, he took to Twitter to share the news. Crypto Ari SBI is reportedly not pulling any punches when it comes to XRP SBI. His most recent action is the Summertime XRP Festival, an initiative co-sponsored by SBI VC Trade and SBI FX Trade to increase XRP's profile in Japan's cryptocurrency industry. Individual consumers are the focus of the spot transaction promotion, which offers them the opportunity to win XRP prizes. Customers who trade XRP spot at SBI VC Trade sales offices between July 14 and August 1, 2023, will be eligible for the promotion. By the end of August 2023, participants will have received an amount of XRP equivalent to 0.5% of the total contract price, up to a maximum of 1 million yen. Winners' SBI VC trading accounts will be credited with the appropriate amount of XRP. The second step is SBI's participation in a leveraged trading campaign offering consumers the chance to win 100 XRP. Participants who leverage trade XRP on SBI VC trade between July 14 and August 1, 2023 will be entered into a lottery for a chance to win one of 50 prizes. Winners will have their eligible XRP deposited into their SBI VC trade accounts by the end of August 2023, just like with the spot transaction campaign. Cryptoary added that SBI has decided to promote XRP on its foreign exchange platform in a cross-promotion. SBI is the first major financial institution to offer crypto CFD trading, a type of derivative trading that includes XRP trading pairings including XRP slash JPY and XRP slash USD. The campaign period is July 14 to 20, 2023. This reward is only available to SBI clients who do XRP transactions of 1 million Japanese yen or more. When it comes down to it, SBI is doing everything it can to get XRP on the radar of Japanese crypto fans. After winning their case against the US regulator, Ripple is now able to discuss these plans. SBI Group CEO Yoshitaka Cattle predicted huge profits for XRP holders once Ripple won its case against the SEC, as reported in June. In order to be among the first to learn about any new developments involving XRP, please subscribe to our channel and enable push notifications. The value of the cross-border payment market is expected to reach $250 trillion by 2027, and a recent analysis by Ripple highlights the rising popularity of crypto and blockchain-based solutions in this market. According to the analysis, there are major problems with the current global payment system. Settlement periods are excessively long because of the antiquated nature of conventional payment methods. Businesses and customers alike may experience setbacks and dissatisfaction as a result of these limitations. In contrast, digital asset and blockchain technologies provide a unified worldwide infrastructure for fast payments at cheap cost. This has led to their growing acceptance as an effective replacement for more conventional approaches. With the advent of online banking, people and companies now have easier access to banking services. More than two-thirds of Americans will be using mobile banking by 2025. In addition, the number of people using online banking in Asia is projected to increase dramatically, reaching 1 billion by 2024. 
However, despite these advancements, the underlying payment infrastructure is still inefficient and disjointed. The future of digital banking uses a method of payment that is centuries old and therefore slow and expensive. The use of third-party verification and settlement agents only lengthens the process. Additional difficulties arise with foreign transfers due to factors such as compliance regulations, currency conversions, time zone differences, and restricted business hours. As a result, wire transfers across international borders are slow and expensive. The emergence of crypto and blockchain technology offers intriguing solutions to these problems in international money transfers. Transactions may be completed quickly and cheaply because of the power of cryptocurrency. Participants can quickly send and receive cryptocurrencies and convert them to their national currencies utilizing established systems. The XRP ledger stands out because it offers some of the quickest transaction times and lowest fees in the business. A rippling effect study suggests. For the majority of respondents, 44%, it's all about the money. Almost half of the people who took the survey cited international transactions as one of the most important applications for cryptocurrency. Ripple bases its estimate of $250 trillion in cross-border payments in 2027 on a research from the Bank of England. Given the expected rate of expansion, it is essential that cryptocentric solutions be implemented. More than 80% of top finance executives around the world see opportunities to use cryptocurrency in their operations within the next three years. Cryptocurrency and blockchain technology offer a potential way to overcome the difficulties in the payment sector, and their adoption is growing in popularity as a result. Before I go any farther, there's something I should explain about DEX nonsense. A market maker is a type of liquidity provider that generates its own funds. It's analogous to a user lending their crypto assets to a platform so that trade in cryptocurrencies can become more decentralized. Many people consider the fees they get from trading on the platform to be passive income, and that's what you get in return. You can get it by using the expo to make it clear that anyone using dspool can increase the liquidity of decentralized platforms like Uniswap, SushiSwap, etc. If you sign up through the link in the video description, Dixwell will give you a special bonus just for signing up. You can earn up to 100 XRP with this offer. It's a cash bonus, good for 10 days use. This bonus is only available when you make a deposit, and it won't last long. In addition, renowned corporate attorney and DX Law co-founder Lewis Cohen is certain that the SEC vs Ripple ruling by Judge Annalisa Torres will not be overturned on appeal. Deaton asked Cohen on the widespread belief that the ruling will be reversed in yesterday's crypto law interview. What do you reply when someone says, oh, it's inconsistent, so she got it wrong the nest, knowing that you are an expert on the laws in question? Cohen responded that those who believe the Judge Torres ruling would be overturned are just bitter losers. The lawyer claims these predictions are completely baseless. Cohen said that the SEC's attempt to recover from its crushing loss against Ripple shows that its detractors are grasping at straws. Sorry, but you're wrong. And now you're just making excuses. Cohen made a remark. It's worth mentioning that attorney Deaton agrees with Judge Torres' ruling and thinks the Second Circuit won't reverse it. Fox Business senior correspondent Charles Gasper engaged in a back and forth with Rhino, Deaton, who claimed that securities attorneys who predicted a defeat on appeal were either mistaken or misinformed. He related how the securities attorneys had originally anticipated an outright win for the SEC in the Ripple case. But in a split decision, the SEC ruled that XRP is not a security, a major triumph for Ripple. Judge Elisa Torres's ruling in the SEC vs Ripple lawsuit has been the subject of significant debate. In light of this developing debate, Colin agreed to an interview about crypto law. The judgment has been questioned by many in the securities law industry, who say it is inconsistent. Judge Torres's ruling on indirect XRP sales to institutions as securities is significant. This is because large investors figured blockchain firms would invest the money they received to boost the XRP ecosystem as a whole. 
However, the judge ruled that the company's automated XRP sales do not constitute securities. The judge ruled that ordinary people who invest in Ripples do not anticipate any personal advantage. As a result, a number of securities attorneys, most notably Mark Faisal and John Reed Stark, have claimed that the finding is illogical. A LinkedIn article pointed out that the judge's decision raises the possibility that XRP is both a security and not a security. Stark believes the verdict is unsound and predicts it will be overturned on appeal. Faisal, who was also quoted in Fatal, apparently agreed, saying that the SEC has a higher chance of getting the judge to reconsider his order on programmatic sales of XRP. However, the SEC's future move has not been confirmed. Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, expressed dissatisfaction with the finding but did not indicate whether or not the commission will appeal. Now let's get down to business and find out what kind of miracle is going to happen in seven days. In order to be among the first to learn about any new developments involving XRP, please subscribe to our channel and enable push notifications. After the huge pump caused by Judge Annalisa Torres' judgment in the Ripple vs. SEC litigation, XRP is now fighting to keep its value above 75 cents. In light of this, a well-known chartist named I.E. Gregg recently predicted that the price of XRP will increase by 777% during the next week. The forecast took into account past data indicating that XRP had accomplished a similar accomplishment. 2. Gregg gave two weekly-based similar XRP charts in his analysis. Draw A and a star on a chart. The price history of XRP for 2017 is seen in chart A. In contrast, the price of an asset is indicated by an asterisk on the price chart. The analysts provided a more in-depth look at the daily charts by expanding the view. Greg underlined that the pattern may be a false warning, despite the similarities between the two charts. He cautioned investors to view the results of this study with caution. In particular, Charter validates data showing XRP lost as much as 106% in March 2017 amid adverse price swings. The acid peaked at $0.07 cents on April 2 before meeting bearish resistance. Despite this, after XRP overcame the bearish pressure, it surged 777%. Edric claims that the price of XRP is following the same pattern seen in the chart of a retail outlet. You may remember that on July 13 XRP rose by 99%. After the SEC lawsuit verdict was announced, the asset's value jumped from $0.47 cents to a high of $0.93 cents before encountering selling pressure. Greg predicted that XRP might increase by 777% due to similarities with the pattern seen in 2017 too. This increase, he said, might happen in the following week. A 777% gain from XRP's current price of $0.75 cents would bring its value to $6.57. Market volatility is expected but a 777% increase is highly unlikely. Having it ready in less than a week sounds fantastic. You should proceed with caution, as this is not investment advice. XRP has gained 1.66% in value over the previous 24 hours and is now trading at 75 cents. The bears have been relentless in their attempt to push XRP below the key 75 cents barrier. XRP's recent slight increase is an effort to cement its position above the threshold. This video has reached its conclusion, viewers who have found it entertaining should give it a thumbs up. Please sign up and pay the associated fee for alerts. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.